RebeccaFredericks.com is an exciting new brand run by women for women, which believes that we need to take control of our lives and redefine what success means for the 21st century woman. The brand empowers women like you with self-confidence to go out there and create the success and therefore the lives that they want. Covering self, work, relationships, fitness, and nutrition. We provide all the tools, tips, strategies, and support you need to create a life you love. Hi, welcome to RebeccaFredericks.com. I'm Rebecca Fredericks and welcome to your Tuesday tip. Thank you so much for joining me today in the kitchen. Now, today we're gonna to be looking at how to make green pesto. Now, I absolutely love pesto. It's really good for you, full of all the basil and the garlic and the nuts and the fresh virgin olive oil, but it's also an incredibly versatile paste. It's great to use on pasta, it's fantastic to use in sandwiches, you can even use it with fish dishes, and I do a really, really good roasted cod dish with pesto, which I'll do another episode on uh, soon. So let's look at what you're going to need to make pesto today. So we're gonna need about 30 grams of fresh basil, we're gonna need a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna need about a third of a cup of toasted pine nuts. Now, a reason that lots of people don't make their own pesto is because in the UK in particular, pine nuts are so expensive. But I don't want this to stop you from making pesto because actually you can use walnuts or almonds instead. And today I'm actually going to be using some almonds as well as the pine nuts. And that's a really, really good option for you. Um, I'm also just gonna put a little bit of um, chili flakes in there and a little, you can use nutmeg, that's also really nice with it. Okay, so let's get started. Now I've already got my pan pretty hot. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the third of the cup of pine nuts and almonds into a frying pan like that and we're just gonna dry fry them. Now if you've got some more time or if you'd prefer to, you can also put them into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes and you just want to toast them lightly. So they will just start to be going a little bit brown by the time that they are ready. Um, and whilst those are toasting, I am just going to start picking my basil from my basil plant. And I'm wanting, as I mentioned, about 30 grams. So I will start doing that now and putting them into my blender. Now, I don't actually possess a food processor, so blenders work just fine. But if you have a food processor, do use that. So I'm just going to pop all of this in and it really couldn't be simpler. You throw it all into the blender, you blend it and you're done. Very quick, very simple, very, very tasty. So whilst those nuts are toasting, just keep checking on them. Just keep moving them around the pan like that. You don't want them to burn. So we'll just pick off our basil. It smells absolutely delicious, this basil. Really does. And basil plants are fantastic. They're really cheap. Probably get them for a couple of pounds. And if you don't overwater them, they can last you for a long, long time. So they're much better than buying those little packs of herbs, which can really go off very, very quickly. So looking for about 30 grams of these. So we need a few more. And then because we're using a blender, what can happen is that the, uh, the rotation at the bottom gets very, very clunked up. So we're gonna put the oil in next just to keep those free. So we're almost ready now. Those are starting to toast nicely. As you can see they're starting to brown off. So let's just finish this up now. Like that. Perfect, that's about right. Now, we're just gonna put in our third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, like that. Put that in, perfect. And then we've got our two cloves of garlic, which I prepared earlier. I just cut the ends off and took the paper off, so we're just gonna pop those in there as well. And then, hopefully our nuts will be about ready. And toasting them just gives them a really nice flavor. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but 
I recommend doing it because I think it just gives it that extra certain something. So let's just check on them now. Move that out of the way. There we go. Okay, just a few more minutes. I'm just going to turn that up a little bit more. Okay, so the pine nuts and the almonds have been toasting for about five minutes and they're starting to take on that nice brown glaze. So they are ready to go. So let's now pop them into the blender. Like that. Perfect. And pop the top on. Make sure it's on firmly. Go and we'll turn it on. Give it a good blitz and let's have a look. This off. There we go. Oops. Perfect. Getting it everywhere. Excellent. Right, I'm now going to get a spatula because all quite stuck in there. Go. I want to scrape it off the sides. Now you can blitz it for longer or less time. If you like your pesto to be quite chunky, you might want to blitz it for less time so you've still got some of the texture from, from the pine nuts and from the almonds. I'm just going to move these out of the way. Or if you like it smooth, blitz it for longer. So let's get a little, a little jar here and we're now just going to pour pesto into the jar. This, oh, basil smells absolutely delicious. Go. Make sure you're getting it all out. It's perfect. And if you really like garlic, you can add an additional clove of garlic. If you're not so keen, maybe just add the one. Really, any of these recipes, make sure that you tailor them to be exactly what you want them to be to suit your tastes because they, it all tastes good. It really does. You're not going to do anything wrong by experimenting. Okay, so that's about right. I might scrape a little bit more out later, but basically we're done. So let's try it. It's really nice. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper like that. I'm also going to add just a pinch of chili flakes just to give it an extra bite. And I like that particularly when I'm using the pesto with pasta. So I'm just going to do that now. But as I mentioned before, nutmegs also a really nice addition. Okay, just a pinch like that, not too much. Give it another stir. Delicious. Mm, that's really, really tasty. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today. I hope you've liked it. Do let me know if you make this recipe and if you add anything else or you change it in any way. I'm always really interested to hear from you. So if you've liked it, then please like it below and like it on Facebook and share this recipe with any of your friends that you think may be interested. Do come over to RebeccaFredericks.com and download the PDF for today's recipe. As always, there's lots of nutritional information in there as well. As always, remember that you are in control of your own life. If you want something to happen, you have to go out there and make the changes. That's not to say that others can't help you and support you. That's what I'm here for and that's what your friends and family are for. But you have all the power that you will ever need inside of yourself. So use it to create a life and a future that you love. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next week.